Right, so I'm inside the Vulcan cockpit, and I'll tell you what, there ain't a lot of room, to be honest with you. Um, we've got one of the uh, one of the volunteers here, sort of thing, um, sort of telling me what was what. was what. So th this seat here, what's this seat? What's that? That's the... Air Electronics Officer. Air Electronics Officer. Yeah. So I suppose he's just, um, you know, he, he's, he's trying to look after the safety of the plane, isn't he? Well, his his main role was to uh, do the electronic warfare. Yeah. So they would be doing the radar jamming. Yeah. So the idea is, is you fly into the enemy territory, you'd enable what was known as the red shrimp radar jammer. Right. And that would distort the, uh, you know, distort the enemy's radar. Because, then... because I know, like, when when people when people say about it, they go like, um, oh, you, you know, the the the, ra the radar jamming. He's all run by elastic bands and, and bits of wood, and do you know what I mean? That's what they make out, don't they? Yeah. Um, not really. Like it's not really, not really no, true. <laughs> no, it was like a high power microwave. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it was so powerful it could actually block out the TV and radio in Britain. But yeah, basically, it would. Um, the enemy would not really know where you were on their screens. Yeah. It would, it would confuse them. They'd send surface to air missiles and probably miss. Yeah. So that was the idea of that. They also had the periscope, so they could look at the undercarriage on landing, right, and make sure that it had uh, come out safely and successfully. That's in there, isn't it? That's the periscope coming out the table. Oh, in that, that's that. That's that look there. Yeah, and you yeah. can also look above the plane with that as well. There's a switch under the table. I, 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 I've seen a video where somebody's saying that this is a chaff launcher for launching chaff. Do, do we think that's true? Uh, what my, do we think? My knowledge is the chaff came out of the back of the aircraft like, that's what yeah. i thought i thought that was just like you know like when aircraft land and they fly or fire a flare off to say oh we're in trouble or what you know what i mean or whatever that's a flare gun yes yeah. that's what i yeah, thought that's that's what yeah i know i've watched i watched a video on youtube and uh somebody was going oh yeah that's for firing firing chaff and i thought no for flares for flare that's what i thought yeah, yeah. And, and there's a thing that so the bomb aimer i also saw i've seen a video where they're saying that the bomb aimer used to have to get out of his seat and go down there and look through that window. But now you've got a camera in place, haven't you? So again, um, when the Vulcan was designed in the late 40s, early 50s, it was kind of commonplace to have a bomb site on a, on a bomber, a bit like you'd had in the Second World War. Yes. However, these were designed to fly at 60,000 feet and drop nuclear weapons. So it didn't really matter, did it? There was, you weren't really after any accuracy, were you? <laughs> Not particularly, and yeah. also at that altitude, unless it's a clear day, all you're going to see is cloud. Yeah. So, um, no. <laughs> yeah. The um, the bomb the bomb and radar operator would sit here, and the bombs would be deployed from here. They wouldn't necessarily they wouldn't really need to go and uh, look through the bomb site. It was used. My knowledge is it was used um, once in the Suez Crisis by right. the crews on a Valiant bomber. Right. Got you. When their navigation and bombing system broke. Right. So, what about the old thing going to the toilet? What what was the scope for that? Was there anything going on with that? Five of these. Five of them. Just have a wee in one of them. Look. Yeah. Because because uh, how long do you reckon the missions were? You, you know what, what what I'm saying. Do you think they were they were with air refueling? They were flying for twenty hours or something like that. Or um, but in the Falklands, I believe it was more. It was sort of closer to sixteen hours. Sixteen Although hours. That was not what this plane was designed for this yeah. was a medium range nuclear bomber designed to go to russia yeah so it's more like four or five hours i'll I, I tell you what I, 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 just as a side note i'll say what i've been i've been doing a video on my previous video i've been on about the the victor you know going in a victor as it was a child and, and not a lot of people know that the, the victor when it was designed it was designed to carry the tall boy bomb, you know them bombs they dropped on the turpits? Mm. They're massive, you know them Grand Slam tall boy bombs? It was designed so it could carry one of them. Yeah, I have a feeling that may be true. I might have read that. Yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah, amazing, the, isn't it? The Victor, I believe, of the three V bombers had the largest bomb. Bomba, yeah, that's right. 35, 1,000 pounds. That's a lot of bombs, isn't it? Yeah, whereas this and the Valiant were 21, 1,000 yeah. pounds. Yeah, it's a lot of bombs, and, yeah. So we had a crew of yeah. five, so we had... So we had electronics op 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 uh, operator. What was the middle seat? What was he? Navigator. And then the bomb aimer. Yeah. So I suppose that I suppose not on a normal mission then. Well, I bet the old bomb aimer was like. I bet that was a dos of a job, wasn't it? I bet that was. Or do you think he was doing other stuff as well? Well, actually, sometimes. So sometimes this is referred to as navigator plotter, and this is navigator radar. 
because they were also operating the radar yeah. system as well. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. well as dropping the bombs and, yeah. and programming the 90-way computer. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, I'm going to stop it from, stop it from there. Do you want, what's your name? You're going to be famous. You're going to be on YouTube. What's your name? <laughs> uh, Jason. Jason. That's a, yeah. Thanks a lot to Jason for, uh, say, having a look in the Vulcan, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, cheers. Bye.